Yo, it's a lion's war, and the stakes are high. Lord Shadow steps up, he's ready to fly. Questions in the air, they start to rain. Can Lord clear his lane without any strain? How many deaths will Lord give out this war? He gotta maintain. Find the best counter for the fender. Lord Shadow skill, he's the ultimate contender. Maps laid out, it's a treacherous path. But Lord's got the skills, he's done the math. Checking the nodes, planning the attack. He's moving forward, there's no turning back. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 51, and this is war number four, and we're going up against an alliance called Beiraktar. I hope I said that right. Uh, let's see. Uh, band. Oh, looks like we're back to Corvus Band, so we're probably back in uh, Tier 2. And they've banned. Oh, wow. They're really trying to hurt me, aren't they? No Magneto. No um, Hulkling. Okay. All right. See how y'all want to play. Let's see what they got. All right. I see. Okay. Y'all want to play. So let's see. I do not know yet the uh, war plan, so I don't know what many I'm assigned to. So I'm just going by these defenders here. And we've got Invisible Woman. And we've got Penny. And I still have Gladiator. And I also have Gallon. So we'll see. I don't believe either one of them benefits from the node. Does Penny get armor ups? I'll have to check on that. I don't think she does. She has her shield, but I don't think she gets any armor ups. So just a, a regular penny counter and if they're clarity even better because it looks like they're both um house of mirrors so possibly um terax maybe but we'll see but we got we got some uh folks for them now for this one I'm thinking Gladiator for both of these. Uh, Gladiator should shut down Omega Sentinel's uh, armor ups. And with some uh, boosts, we should be good. Um, and of course, Red Skull, same thing. Uh, with the boosts, we should be fine. All right, and like I said, I don't know what many he's going to assign me to, so we will uh, cross that bridge when we come to it. But for now, I'm thinking Gladiator, definitely for Section 2, and then whoever for these two guys. So it could be Terax, um, it could be um it could be bullseye too. I believe bullseye is um he's clarity, isn't he? So yeah, bullseye could do it too. So we'll we'll see. We've got we've got some options. Even though they tried to limit our options as much as they could, we got we got some options. All right. Let's get to the fighting. All right, so we're going to go in with Venom, uh, Bullseye, and Gladiator. Now, if you guys have been following the war videos, you've seen me use Bullseye before. He is actually a very good attacker. And, of course, Gladiator, he's my top champion currently. Whoever would have thought that he'd be my top champion? But he is. Um... 
he is just he's just awesome. That's all I can say. After his rework, he wasn't awesome when he first came out, but after they reworked him, yeah, really good now. And then you got Venom. Now, Venom I don't tend to use him a lot. He's a uh, rank 2. And uh he's not immune to any of, you know, like bleed and poison since I always run the uh, recoil masteries. But in any case, this first fight is against uh, Invisible Woman. And one of the things that uh, she has that's so annoying is her invisibility. But guess what? Bullseye don't care. Look at that. He don't care. Not only that, but her invisibility doesn't last very long when she um, is bleeding. Just look at that. He tore her apart, okay? Um, he is a great, great counter for a lot of these champions that, you know, have some sort of a miss mechanic because he doesn't miss. Uh, his special one uh, can't miss and can't be evaded. Now, obviously, if they have True Strike or something like that, um, they can kind of handle his own evade and such, but... I, I am warming up to Bullseye as an attacker. We already know how nasty he is on defense. But as an attacker, he's actually really good. Now, I'm actually boosting up my uh, Cosmic, not because of Venom, but because of Gladiator, who I'm going to be using later. But may as well get some uh, benefit here. Okay, so now... I had not thought about using Venom against Penny Parker until I saw just how good Venom is. So first of all, Venom cannot be power burned or drained or whatever against tech champions. Look at this. Not only that, but she's not bleed immune. For some reason, I kept thinking Penny Parker, you know... Um, I know she's uh, immune to, what, poison and incinerate or something like that because of her um, bot. But I just keep thinking that she is immune to bleed and poison. And um, I think incinerate? But in any case, she's not immune to bleed. And so that makes Venom really good against her. And as you can see, he rocked. Now, we're going to go in here with uh, Gladiator. I have to use the advanced power boost at this point in time because he's not max sig yet. I might still do it even when he's max sig, but the higher his sig, the longer that vigilance that you see right there will last initially. So I'm trying to race right now to a special two. Once I get to the special two, that's it. Now, this vigilance lasts a long time. Okay, and I was so mad at that. That was my fault. I dashed back, and she caught me going backwards, which the AI often does. And I decided to just go for it because it looked like the AI was going to be passive and wait for my vigilance to run out so that she could get her armor ups, and then I could start taking bleed damage. We weren't going to allow that to happen. So we got that one down. Now we're going to be fighting Red Skull. Same thing. On this node, those armor ups are deadly. However, Gladiator, when he has a personal vigilance, shuts down those armor ups. And it's not a nullify, it's not a stagger. It's reducing their ability accuracy by 100%. Okay? So if they have anything that re um, increases their ability accuracy, like a node or, or anything like that, then they're going to still be able to get armor ups, maybe. Like, I used Gladiator against Viv Vision, and he did shut down a lot of her armor ups initially, but not all of them. So she has some sort of a boost, or when I was fighting her, whatever the node is gave her some sort of a boost. So, got to be aware of that, at least. But, 
with uh, Red Skull, whether he's on this node, whether he's on the other node, Gladiator can take him. You just have to make sure your Vigilance buff doesn't run out. And if it does, just hit into his block when he has only one armor. Don't let it pile up because then you're going to take a lot of damage. So you can see here he has no armors. Okay. And so at this point, I just want to get to his uh, uh, special two. But I did something there that I shouldn't have done. Okay. And okay, we did this. But you see he has an armor up now. I need to hit into his block, but I wasn't. And so I had the shock on me. And so I just said, you know what? Let me just go for it. So that could have turned out much worse, okay? Uh, a couple of mistakes that I made there. Uh, I did not get rid of that armor up by just hitting his block and taking a little bit of the damage. And then I did not fire that special quickly enough. But anyway, you're going to see me here looking lost. The reason is the next fight that I was supposed to take is gone. Someone took it. So my opponent is gone. So that was all the fights that I had for this war. All right. We'll be back in a moment and you'll find out just how this war ended. And we're back. And unfortunately, we lost this war here. Let's take a look here. We got stomped. OK. That's all there is to it. We just got stomped. Now, I'm actually torn because we've been losing at tier two. Then we go down to tier three and then we win and go back to tier two. The reason that I'm torn is that at tier two, Corvus is globally banned. At tier three, glo uh, Corvus is not globally banned. So when we go to tier two, I can't use Corvus. When we go to tier three, I can use Corvus unless they, you know, ban him outright. So I'm kind of torn, you know, between winning or losing, you know, at a tier two. But anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day arena and chill grind that's how we roll no stress no drama just on patrol in the fight he swept his tactics be tight those shadows in the arena ready to ignite from the streets to the screen his skills be renowned in the world of marvel lord the king